Production animal agriculture has evolved over time, and small family-owned operations have dwindled as large feeding operations have become a standard form of production. Over the years, me and my family have raised many different breeds of sheep. As me and my brother finished our time in 4-H, we shifted our farm's focus to breeds that offer utility for commercial production. We handle all of the veterinarian work unless we encounter something that requires consultation from a large animal vet. To keep input costs low, we typically try to avoid feeding grain and utilize pasture grazing rotation to mitigate the risks associated with parasites and disease. Now this short interview will highlight in more detail changes made to the operation, accelerated lambing, estrus synchronization, and culling criteria. The last couple years we've intentionally focused on uh, getting hair sheep basically because they're low maintenance. Uh, also, they're the St. Croix breeds are parasite resistant to a certain extent and don't require hoof trimming. So selection for twinning percentages and fast growing lambs and then mixing that with Dorper rams for fast lamb growth has been the priority. In addition, we're focusing on accelerated lambing. So basically we're selecting breeds that will uh, uh, go through estrus outside of the annual one lamb or one lamb crop uh, per year. I've got one ewe out there that's had uh, eight lambs in the last uh, 340 days. All sheep breeds will uh, naturally go through an estrus or breeding cycle each fall based on uh, daytime and day length. Uh, synchronization is the intentional act of basically utilizing uh, uh, hormone therapy to a certain extent to get the uh, cycles aligned. The big advantage to this is the, it increases the chance of getting used pregnant in the, uh, in the spring of the year for fall lambs, and you can also predict when your lambs will hit the ground. Culling uh, criteria, aside from general health and age of the ewe, really comes down to how fast their lambs grow and what their mothering ability is. Um, I do intentionally remove the lambs that don't have, or the ewes that don't have multiple lambs. And also, if we have some disposition issues, they find their way out of the flock relatively quickly. In summary, accelerated lambing maximizes our production on our small-scale operation. We have found success lambing multiple times per year, using selective culling criteria, and implementing management practices that are low maintenance and cost-effective. I hope this video was able to provide some insight into a small-scale commercial sheep operation.